What's up guys, John here from Titan. And today I'm back with another Titan mid fussing segment just for you guys. And this one covers working out longer doesn't mean your results are gonna be any better. So let's break that down. There are a lot of people out there that think they have to put two, three hours or more extended amount of time than that in the gym every single day to get the results that they're really looking for. Whether it's weight loss, building new muscle mass, they think they have to be in there for that amount of time, which is totally untrue. Now listen guys, I praise you guys for the effort, the hard work you're putting in day in and day out to get the results that you're looking for. But you wanna work smarter and not harder per se. Not to say that you don't wanna put in hard work. You definitely wanna put in hard work, but you gotta be smart about these things too. Because if you were working out for long extended periods of time, like two or three hours a day, then you're probably gonna be overusing your muscles, which could set you up for injury, or you can be in bad form, which can also lead to an injury, well, other things can happen to you guys, right? You don't want that. You won't get the results you're looking for because your body won't be able to build back fast enough to be breaking it down so much and putting so much wear and tear on it that it might take even longer for you to recover, right? So you want your recoveries to be good too as well, but make sure your workouts are in and out. What do I mean by that? Go in, do what you're supposed to do. Whether you have a plan in place, you have your exercise and sets laid out, or you have no plan at all, and you say, listen, I'm just gonna go hit chest and go hit the most open machines that I can hit that time and that day, right? Have some sort of game plan, go in there and do it. Don't get on your phone, don't be distracted by talking to other people in the gym or people that are surrounding you. Make sure you're laser focused and you're in and out. That will get you the best results, I promise you. It will cut down your gym time and you'll get a lot better results all the way through and through. That's just another Titan myth busting segment from me to you guys. I appreciate you guys. I can't wait to bring you guys back for another Titan myth busting segment from me, John CEO from Titan Medical Center. Thanks, guys. What's up guys, John here, and you're officially at the Secours Compound. It's Saturday here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Get ready to take these beautiful rides down to Festival of Speed Orlando at the Ritz-Carlton. That's right, Titan Medical Center is a main sponsor for Festival of Speed. It's gonna be an upscale event, awesome environment, awesome cars, awesome people, and it's gonna be a hell of a ride down. What's up guys, we're finally here. Orlando, Florida. Beautiful sunny weather here at the Ritz-Carlton property. And we got all the Titan bad boys here we brought down. Me, my beautiful wife here, Sharice, and our office manager, Nicole, drove the Hellcat all the way down. Yes. And it was an awesome ride. So you guys will get to see some of that driving experience through some of the behind the scenes that we caught for you guys. And today is day one. That's right, it's prep day, it's setup day. So that means we bring all the cars down, set them up, set the booth up. It's gonna be an amazing, fun-filled experience tomorrow for Festival of Speed here on Sunday at the Ritz Carlton property. And we're gonna be here, we're gonna have Titanettes here, Big Drew, and a couple other Titans to kick it off with you guys and make sure you guys are having the full Titan experience you guys deserve. So come on down, see some awesome cars, some beautiful people, and one overall great experience with us at Titan Medical Center and Festival of Speed. Mm -hmm. 
What's up guys? Sunny mornings here at Orlando, Florida at the Ritz Carlton for the Festival of Speed. Yesterday was setup day and today is the day. So we're out here with all these beautiful cars. We got some of the Titan staff here and the Titanettes, plus Big Drew out here representing. Tons of giveaways, all cool kinds of stuff. And I'll tell you what, the views out here are spectacular. guys so this is the wrap up 2022 festival of speed here in orlando florida at the ritz carlton property we came we saw we conquered like titans usually do right so we came out here our titan s did an awesome job we had some of our staff out here representing too big drew is out here taking pictures and showing people what titan medical center is all about so guys if you miss it this year come join us next year here in orlando florida but don't worry if you did miss it we got all the cool content coming at you so stay tuned that's a wrap guys thank you What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharif. And today we're here to talk to you about an amazing Titan therapy that's helped a lot of our patients out there. Um, a lot of patients do come to Titan Medical Center for weight loss, whether they're male, they're female, and they're looking for something that's gonna be very effective for them, that's gonna be healthy for them. It's gonna get them the results because that's the main thing, right? So me and Sharif were talking last night and we really wanna do a video for you guys to really talk to you about one of our awesome, amazing therapies that has really helped a lot of patients, especially lately. Yep. And that's our Aries Injectable Weight Loss Therapy, Semi-Glutide. This therapy has been a game changer for all of our patients that's been taking it. Um, pretty much no contraindications as far as medical history and all that that goes along with it. Um, and it has done amazing things as far as results for our patients, losing anywhere from 5, 10, 15 to 20 pounds in almost two months time span. Yeah. That's a pretty amazing thing, you know. And with this obviously diet correction and you know exercise is going to be a great part of it too and expedite results but there's a lot of patients out there that have not been doing as much as they possibly can you know who you are and still getting the results right <laughs> and uh that, that's really cool because it's really helping people as far as you know cut or curb cravings sugar cravings at night too as well um, it's been helping with as far as regulating their blood sugars too as well so they're not going you know high as far as that goes and uh, overall feeling really really good on the therapy and there's no stimulants in the therapy, so it's good for a lot of people that have cardiovascular issues out there and such. So if you guys are looking for another great weight loss therapy, then our Aries Injectable Weight Loss Therapy Semi-Glutide might be the therapy for you. I mean, you have a lot of different things you can do with this therapy too, because it, like John was saying, you know, there's not many contraindications, except for there's some thyroid contraindications. However, we have other therapies for people that might have a thyroid contraindication. But in this particular scenario, semaglutides work great for all ages, 
I mean, it's it's been crazy the results that we've been getting. And obviously, I'm you know knee deep in messages and emails and all kinds of things all day. So I get to see all the fun stuff, you know, what whether good or it's more good. <laughs> but you know, it's it's great to see the results, and you know, it's it's really cool to see that the patients are finally getting the, some of this weight off because. Listen, sometimes it's hard to get, you know, if you're trying to cut off 15, 20, 30, 40, I mean, keep going up 50 pounds, you can't just do that overnight, you right. know? And some of you guys gotta get that off, not just because you wanna look good, because you need to be healthy, right? Some of you guys have high blood pressure, some of you guys have high cholesterol, some of you guys have diabetes, some of you guys have all these hereditary things that you can do, the preventative measures, keeping the weight off and living a healthy lifestyle and taking care of yourself you know, this allows you to do that because it cuts the cravings and it also helps curb the appetite. So you're not always just craving, you know, maybe pizza in the middle of the night or, you know, me, I am the craver of all cravers for, you know, French fries or something of that nature with salt on it. I, you know, listen, we're all guilty of that, right? I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm close to being perfect, but you know, I, I'm not perfect, but you know, it's, it's been a great therapy for many people and you can take it with other therapies yeah. to expedite the results or say you reach a, uh, we've had some people where they've reached a point where they got all the weight off. Awesome. So what do you want to do now? Right. I mean, cause there's the next level. You have levels of things. Okay, cool. Take off 15 pounds. What are you going to do next? Oh, I want to build up lean muscle mass. Oh, I want to cut up. I want to do this. I want to do that. We have different therapies for all different kinds of things. So this is a good starting therapy. You know, it's it's a sa it's a fairly safe therapy that we have. It's one of the most popular ones. Absolutely. And you know, I would say I'm not sure I've heard many people not getting the results on it. And if you didn't get the result on it, you better check your hormones. Yeah, something else could be going wrong there for sure. I mean, semi-glutide, like I said, has been a game changer for everybody that's taken as far as patient-wise for us. Um, you know, being healthy requires some people to lose weight. They might be over, you know, overweight, obese, you know, at that point, and this could be causing other health detrimental things that are going on to them. So get your guys health straight. That is a part of getting your weight straight too as well, okay? And semi-glutide can be that game changer for you guys and can help in a number of different ways. So if you guys are interested in semi-glutide or Aries injectable weight loss therapy, please call or text us at 727-389-3220. And check out our awesome website, TitanMedicalCenter.com, for that therapy and all of our other amazing therapies that we offer to you guys. So I'm John. I'm Sherry. And we'll be back with some more awesome knowledge for you guys, dropping Titan therapies and more in the next coming videos. Thanks. Let's do it. How's it going? My name is Jason Salinas. I'm the owner of SMB Elite Fitness in Roseville, California. Uh, I've been a trainer for over 20 years, love and passion for working out. And uh, one thing that I took into consideration in my early 30s was getting my blood levels checked and seeing how my hormone levels were. Uh, I worked with a physician out there in Roseville, California for probably about six years, referring all my clients to him. Uh, I definitely believe it's important to not only do an external evaluation with somebody, but also an internal evaluation as well and uh, helped him build his practice to the point where it was a seven month waiting list. And so I started uh, following Titan Medical Group on Instagram, watching what John and Sharice were doing. And I was really excited at the different uh, therapies they offered other than just TRT. And so I reached out to John and uh, basically got connected with them, got my blood work done. And I uh, was excited to try some new things. I've actually worked with Titan Complete as a staple, uh, Hercules Potion, Glutathione, all basic staples. I've been t doing TRT with them. They have me in getting my blood work done every six months, making sure I'm in line with everything else. And uh, it's, it's been great. I feel incredible. I'm actually competing at 47 years old, looking better than I did at 25 years old. And I feel kind of like Benjamin Button. Uh, I've referred, referred a handful of clients from Northern California here, and it's been super convenient because they've been able to actually Skype with the physicians. Staff has been incredible uh, getting back to clients and answering questions. Customer service has been incredible. I uh, get notified probably about the third week of every month just to check on me, see how I'm doing, and uh, seeing if I'm wanting to update my current status or add or change or adjust anything with my program. Um, not only has the customer service been incredible for me, but I like working with my clients in Titan Medical as well. And so 
anytime my clients come to me with issues in regards to how they feel, I get a hold of Titan Medical. And if not, the front desk uh, or the assistant, Sharice is even herself, one of the owners, been on the phone with them, making sure they get everything cleared for our people. So we appreciate and love uh, everything you guys do for us, and we're very grateful. And uh, it's been just a great fit. I've basically kind of been there, became their NorCal rep, I like to say. And I've uh, just been, been excited to be a part of the family. Been with Titan Medical now for just about six years and um, definitely believe in everything they do. And it's and I'm super excited that they're always on the cutting edge of every new therapy uh, or peptide that comes out. So definitely, if you haven't got with them, get, get a hold of them and get your blood work done now. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my little beautiful wife right here. Every week, we're bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole new, better level, right? And don't worry if you guys aren't in a relationship out there. You guys can use this great information that we're dishing out every single week to you guys to help you guys in your future relationship to make sure it's successful, right? But if you're in a relationship, you want to look at some certain things here, right? And one is is your values. I think values, morals, and ethics are very, very important to look at, right? And when we look at some of these different things, we want to look at things that you guys have in common and you guys are sharing that are going to take your relationship to a better future relationship. So we talk about some of these things. One, we mention to it all the time, and that's communication, right? You gotta have communication with your partner, good times, bad times, what your future is gonna entail, how you guys are gonna get past certain things. This is something where communication really plays a major part. Um, even if you've been with your partner for a long time, like me and her, um, now we can pretty much guess kind of what the other person's gonna say because we've been around each other for so long and so much that we kind of know, you know, generally what we're going to do or what's going to happen or what someone's going to say or so it's it's not that hard to do right yeah like, uh, yeah he's not going for that um yeah <laughs> i mean kind of know like hey listen you know if somebody says something like yeah it's going to be a no-go or yeah probably like that it's very very minimal times where it, i might get thrown off guard like really like do you really want to do that or you really want to see this or you, you really want to talk to this person or whatever it is right but it doesn't happen too much not often. Right? so that's one major thing the second thing, commitment. So committing to each other, committing to your relationship. This is really, really a, a strong point to go off of because if you're not committed to each other and to the relationship, then you know things can be going left and right at the same time. Mm -hmm. Whether you know you're opening your op your options of hey maybe something might better might come along the grass is greener on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, you know I don't think I have a future with this person, right? Mm -hmm. That's a problem, yeah. okay? Because then your end goal, they don't align with each other. Right? Yeah, you have to have the same end goal. You have to have the same end goal. You guys right? got to be going to the same gate, at That's least. Right. Not one of you guys going to gate A and the other one's going to gate G. Yeah, or like, uh, you know what? I'm going to take the 5 o'clock bus and you can take the 10 o'clock bus or flight or whatever it is. Dear right? me, take the 10 o'clock bus. Yeah, see? So <laughs> you don't want that, right? The other one, trust. Right? You gotta be able to trust your partner. That's mm -hmm. your partner. So, you know, if you don't have trust, then you know, a lot of things are gonna go wrong or you might be second guessing a lot of things that you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. This could be another issue. And trust is a big issue with a lot of couples out there. Yep. Especially with all social media out there and all these different things to distract you from your relationship yeah. one way or the other, right? Or temptation coming up and biting you on the butt and at that point you really lose it out on something that could have been really really good for you genuinely right right i see this happen all the time um you know relationships you know the trust factor isn't there in the beginning because maybe coming, from, coming from a scorned relationship coming from a scorned relationship or this one happens a lot right um coming from some somebody that was in a relationship when you got with them so if they're in a relationship currently and then you start, you know, creeping with them and they start cheating on their, their partner at that time with you and they're like, oh, and you're like, oh, you better leave your partner. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to be the side piece. Or, yeah. eh, eh. And then they decide, oh, all right, fine, I'm going to leave my partner and then they come with you. 
And now you're second guessing like, oh. Oh, you're going to do that to me now? Who's going to be your side piece now yeah. that I'm the main one, right? right? Or always question your body. Even if there is no other side piece or you really, really, you know, cared about this person. If you're going to do something like that, then you have the person end the relationship right away, right? Even if you've already made the mistake with, you know, being with them or whatever it is, you have to take a step back and be like, listen, okay, well, I really like you. Everything's great. And, you know, I want to be involved with you, but you got to end this, whatever it is. Whether it's a, a marriage that, you know, they're still married on paper and, and they're separated, right? Mm -hmm. This can cause other issues. And we see this, we've seen this quite a few times. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like I said, having the person cheat on their significant other with you, that's, that's not knowing any, that's not better, right? And, oh, they love me more. Well, they might do the exact same thing to you that they just did to that partner later on down the road when things have gotten boring, per se, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a big, big thing. Uh, the next thing, conflict management. <laughs> Sheree's asked me, she's like, what is conflict what is management conflict for conflict management? So I come up with these because I think they're really good. You know, conflict management is the way that you're going to handle problems when they come. And this does entail communication and commitment and everything like that, but you guys gotta have some sort of reasoning and then it's gotta have some sort of compromise in there. So you guys can get to some sort of resolution and you guys are both happy with the res resolution in some way, shape or form. You might not be happy at first, but there's gotta be some middle road if you guys do have some sort of conflict. Mm -hmm. And these conflicts could be a number of different things. Let's say you have to move for your job, right? Your significant other that you're married to has a great job here. And they're like, I don't wanna move. Like, I like Florida, I like this, you know, and I gotta move, like, why? You guys gotta be able to, you know. Come up with a solution. Some sort of resolution or solution for that problem. Halfway points, guys, you know? halfway points. Um, whether, you know, you're upset about something they did out there, right? This is a conflict that you guys have to resolve in some way, shape, or form. So. You know, communication is a big part of this, I think. Um, but understanding, you know, that's another one that you guys have to involve with this conflict management portion. You guys have to manage the conflict, whatever it is, and you can't let it get out of control um, and let it control your relationship for the future, right? Mm -hmm. You got to take take the ropes in hand and, and handle it. Um, next one after that, respect. So respect is a major one, I think, with partners. Um, you got to be able to respect your partner, whether it's a male or a female or whatever it is. At that point, if you don't show each other respect, you know, one side is probably not going to feel good about it, right? Salty. And they're going to feel salty. They're going to feel scorned, whatever the word is as far as that goes. Not happy. Uh, mad. Not happy. <laughs> sad. Mad, sad. Sad's another one, right? Like, why doesn't my partner respect me or I don't feel, I feel like I'm disrespected all the time. Uh, these could be things that you're saying or actions that you do um, that makes your partner feel like this. And... If this is happening and you are the partner this is happening to, then that's when the communication role comes back in and you start talking about these problems. And then the conflict management happens, right? <laughs> See, I, I got... I, he had it all worked out. I had this it. set up, right? right? He tied it. Um, you know, because this, this is what we do, you know, to a certain extent. We might not call it conflict management, but that's yeah, kind of Yeah, we don't call we it do, that, right? yeah. Um, but there might be a day even, because I, I am notorious, notorious, for when I'm going like five or 600 miles a minute, I'm, I'm talking a certain way maybe to the staff that just made me mad and John just so happens to walk by in the midst of me in this very angry moment right yeah. and it, it's common it happens a lot I mean we've been working together side by side <sighs> for 10 years right <sighs> It's tough, you know, it's not easy. So, you know, I might, you know, he might ask me a question and then I say something and it might come across like super snippy or short. And it, I definitely don't mean it that way. And you know what? Sometimes I don't even realize it till he says something about it later. Like, hey, listen, I didn't appreciate that. But that's where communication comes into play. Maybe your partner didn't realize that they said something and then you should what? What should you do then? Should you just ignore the fact they said it and just keep doing it? No, no you should apologize. Say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect you or, you know, yell at you or, whatever it was you did at the moment and be like, I'm, I'm sorry that I did that and try to do better. You know, that's the whole point is to try to do better. Absolutely. As long as you're trying to do better, that's all that really matters, Absolutely. right? And you're constantly working on it. You know, Absolutely. we say the same thing about a relationship. You're constantly working at it. You know, people that work out, right? You're constantly working to make your body look better, right? It's the same thing with a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. it, you constantly have to continue working at it, working at it, working at it, so that you grow and you become stronger and, you know, together as one. Like, when you guys are together as one, nothing comes between you guys. That's right. You should be the strongest that you ever are if you were both together, yeah. right? Um, the next one afterwards, forgiveness. No. It plays a big role, too. You gotta forgive, right? And no. I'm not saying it has to come easier or whatever. It could be a big issue or a small issue, but there's gotta be some way of forgiveness, right? You know, people are gonna make mistakes. 
And if you can live with that mistake then you, and you're going to forgive them, you got to give forgiveness. And that's all the way across the board. If you don't do that, you guys are going to be stuck at this, this meeting point in the road where, you know, it's like, listen, we can't get past this point. We can't go on. It's like having a flat tire and you're in the middle of the street. Like, what are you going to do here? Are you going to change the tire and, and keep driving? Or are you going to push the car to the side of the road and wait for the tow truck to come? Forgiveness, you know, like if John happens to tap the back of my car or something and a little tiny scratch, that's forgiveness, right? Yeah, and bought her a brand new car, so I don't want to hear about <laughs> Wait, it. hold on. The back, it's the other way around, too. You know, I've driven John's car when I didn't, when I, mine got totaled. And, you know, I wasn't so used to it, it had so low. And I pulled it right over the curb and pulled it right back out. I was like, hee, hee. But he forgave me. Yeah. <laughs> So it's forgiveness, right? You get yeah. over it, get past it, move on. Um, next two. Last one after this one would be the best one, I think. But authenticity. So being authentic with your partner all the way. You're authentic about your relationship, true to form. This is the way you got to be, right? After that, empathy. So you want to empathize for your partner or with your partner because there's going to be certain things that you're going to come up that you have to empathize with, right? You know, there's certain things that happen as far as in the, the relationship um, that, you know, showing empathy to your partner um, will go a long, long way, right? You might not be going through what your partner is going through, whether it's a medical problem or family issue or whatever, but you empathize with them. You put yourself in their scenario. Um, you're not sympathetic to the issue, but you're empathizing with the issue right, right alongside of them. You gotta love real life so, scenarios here, guys. Yeah. yeah, we do work during the show, and yeah. yes, I do have an alarm going off. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so listen, guys, these values I think are very important for a relationship. Right? I think that everybody should take either all these things or some of these things and start implementing them right away. All of them. And hopefully you guys are doing some of these things already and this is hopefully helping your relationship out. But maybe you're missing one, two, three, four, five of these things. Start implementing them one at a time if you need to or all of them at the exact same time. And things will be a lot better, I think, with a relationship. Your partner will be like, oh, what are you doing? Or why are you doing this? It's, it's because you I know? saw John and Teresa's Cupid's Corner, and they gave me the best advice I have ever gotten. I mean, it's every Sunday on ABC. That's right. At 11 a.m. So make sure you guys are tuning in to us every Sunday at 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner. We're bringing you guys this awesome information for you guys to take and start using it. Using it with your partner, using your relationships. I promise you guys will be calling us or texting us like, thank you so much for that tip. I really appreciate it. And for you guys out there, if you don't like some of the things I'm saying because I'm kind of uncovering some things for you, trust me, just roll with it and your wife or girlfriend or fiance or boyfriend, whoever it is, is going to be a hell of a lot happier well, for you. Well, maybe they'll bring it up to you finally, something that's bothering them or vice versa. And, you know, that's a good thing. Yeah. And that's communication. Yeah. Because, listen, sometimes that crystal ball, you know, the the – Titan crystal ball. It doesn't always work, right? So if the crystal ball's not working, then you don't know. So you have yeah. to uh, speak up. So guys, catch us every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC for Cupid's Corner. Me, my wife, Sharice. And if you guys missed it, go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and check out all the episodes. We love you guys. We'll see you guys next Sunday at 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.